Sadly, um, we experienced the strike uh, today, and I appreciate the opportunity to talk about it. Uh, one, because as a parent, um, I'm a parent of three in our school district. I, I know how difficult and frustrating uh, this experience was. Um, in our case, we helped, uh, my, my wife took care of uh, a family friend's daughters. Um, I know many of our families had to scramble uh, to find care and supervision for their children uh, because we had to close our schools for instruction. Uh, but even beyond today, um, this past, these past few years have been very, very difficult uh, for our students, the trauma that they've experienced, the educational disruption. So uh, this could, could not come at a, at a worse time and, and certainly nobody wants uh, to see a strike. Uh, the damage that it causes in the relationships uh, that we have with other adults, uh, the personal decisions that have to be made. Uh, this is certainly not something that is ideal for our community and I recognize it. And I just hope that we can bring back our students, welcome them back. I know that our students miss all of our staff, our teachers, our custodial staff, our office managers. Um, and I know that they miss our students as well. So I'm hopeful that uh, this will end very soon uh, and that we can welcome back our students. Um, there are soccer games that were missed today. There were softball games that were missed today. Uh, again, um, we want to do everything we can to bring back our students and our employees. And let's do some housekeeping on what happened last night. Uh, as much as you can, obviously I understand certain things, negotiations and all that, but we ran into a number of situations where communication wise, we were being told the district did not even show up to negotiations. Uh, we were told negotiations were ongoing by one side and then by another side, they, we were told that they'd fallen through. What on earth, to the best of your ability, was happening last night that there was so much confusion? What I will say um, very confidently is that um, our team uh, was working um, in, on trying to make sure that we reached an agreement. It was being done through state appointed mediators, uh, which is um, uh, a confidential process. Um, but I can assure you that our team was with uh, those state appointed mediators trying to do our best to reach an agreement to avert the strike. Um, I could follow up with you on other information and, and even documentation around that. Um, but really, um, I don't want to add more confusion to that. Um, I think it's important that our community eventually have access to information that verifies uh, the activities that were taking place uh, the important thing, unfortunately, is that we didn't reach an agreement. We didn't avert a strike. We had a strike now. My hope is that uh, that strike will not endure. Uh, my hope was that it wouldn't go beyond today. Um, we have offered and we have made it clear to our labor partner that our negotiations team is ready, stands ready to negotiate. Uh, we are waiting uh, for a response. We're hoping that that happens. Uh, soon here um, so that we don't have to uh, continue to see our students um, not coming to school. Uh, for so many of our students, we know that our schools are safe havens. It's where they see and feel the love and support of so many individuals. It's where they receive nutrition services. Uh, we're doing everything that we can, but it doesn't compare to what happens on a daily basis. Yes, we have found a way to provide grab and go meals. Uh, we're thankful for partners that allowed us to provide uh, regional distribution of those meals, uh, but that's not ideal for any of us and it's not helpful for our community. Uh, I'm grateful for so many people that have come forward to provide those supports to our students, but we just need to get back to our schools. I want to touch on that one more time because uh, we spoke a little bit uh, in that last question about being in the mix. Outside of the mix, I'll tell you, my parents were never very involved in the in school districts. It was very much a situation, eat your breakfast, head out the door, go to school, come back. That's pretty much the involvement that was going on. Uh, when it comes to communication, that's what this is about. A number of people who aren't entirely sure about whether or not their kid was gonna go to school. And we can put out information on our website. We can put, you guys can put information out on your website as well. There's never gonna be 100%. I think we can all pretty much acknowledge that. So. In, in the next round of negotiations, whenever that, that may be, if I'm one of those parents, how on earth am I going to stay tuned and find out if my kid's going to school tomorrow? 
Well, the first thing that I'll acknowledge is that um, these are very complex issues. Um, and um, I hear all the time uh, that unless you're in this system and unless you're part of this, it's very difficult to follow all of this information. Uh, we are gonna continue to communicate on an ongoing basis. There was a communication that I received as a parent um, and that my wife received about tomorrow, just a few minutes ago. We're gonna do everything we can to be proactive and transparent. Um, I am not proud at all to be sending messages saying that our schools will remain closed tomorrow. Uh, my goal is that if they're closed tomorrow for instruction, that they will reopen on Friday. That is our number one priority. Um, we are doing everything that we can to communicate to our families via email, via text, via robocalls as well posting on Facebook, posting on social media as well. I will tell you that as I was contacting our uh, principals that have done everything they can, they were ready to um, uh, 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 receive students uh, from parents that might have not heard uh, about the fact that we were closed for instruction. Uh, it was pretty minimal. Uh, and fortunately, uh, we, didn't, we did not have uh, many situations where students showed up without understanding that our schools were, were closed for, for instruction. Again, uh, that's where we need to strive for. Uh, our students and our families not worrying about getting an email about whether our schools are closed or not. And just to run back what you had said, the goal was if you guys are not open Thursday, you guys aim to be open Friday. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, my goal is not to send another communication tomorrow indicating that our schools are going to remain closed for instruction on Friday. That is not ideal uh, and it's not appropriate. Our families are having to scramble in ways that are unimaginable for many of us. Um, again, I, I will tell you that just personally, my wife uh, today took care of a friend's two daughters um, and uh, that happened across the entire community. Uh, there were some level of activities, but again, it's not going to compare uh, to the level of activities that our students engage in day in, day out. Uh, soccer games were missed, softball games were missed, practices were missed, uh, field trips were missed, uh, but most importantly, relationships were missed. Uh, deep relationships between students and adults, from teachers to custodial staff to office managers to principals, uh, that is not what took place today. That's what our students need. They had been away from school, as you know, uh, for many, many months, uh, almost two years. And what we need to do is make sure that our students are, are back, uh, regaining the lost learning, the unfinished learning, but more importantly, getting the services, the social and emotional, but the mental health services, uh, the trauma that our students experience is something that we should not continue to repeat. I'm sorry, just because I know it, it's a big thing. Are, are you saying to students, prepare for school on Friday, or is this still TBD? No, it, it is TBD. Um, that's what we have said to our families, and we've communicated as, uh, as much as we can. Uh, we communicated this afternoon that we don't expect our schools to reopen. We're hopeful that we will get a response and that we'll, we will resume negotiations. Uh, but we have indicated that at this time, uh, unless something changes, our schools are going to be closed for instruction tomorrow. Uh, as of Friday, uh, that is still uh, to be determined, but we will do everything we can to communicate as early as possible tomorrow. Thank you. Just wanted to be 100% clear on that. The, let's talk a little bit more about uh, the negotiation itself, because th there was conversation about a mediator offer. Uh, the mediator came in by request of the district, I believe, an offer was presented. Uh, that wasn't the case. Uh, no, no, keep going. Sorry. Okay. Uh, that a mediator came in and that a offer was made to kind of avert this strike. Uh, the teachers union seems to like it, but the district appears not to. Um, what's going on with this offer and why isn't it working? I think you're referring to a fact finder, a fact finding panel. Um, um, and what I will say is that, again, uh, we believe that the proposals that we have put forward um, uh, take into consideration the vast majority of those recommendations, uh, as well as other considerations that we have heard from our labor partner around uh, the effects of staffing shortages, uh, that Sac City has experienced, but so have every other regional district and every state district. Uh, this is an issue that has impacted um, all districts across the state and the nation. We believe that the 
proposals that we have provided to our labor partner uh, cover most of those recommendations and also go beyond them. Uh, our proposals, uh, for example, continue to offer 100% health coverage uh, for individuals that still have uh, the health net plan uh, that, uh, that our district is just not able to sustain um, over and over. And that's something that has been told to us for many decades. Uh, we have offered to pay 80% of the difference between the cost of that plan and the Kaiser plan that we would like to offer uh, every one of our employees at 100% coverage. We've offered to pay a monthly stipend for individuals uh, that already have health coverage. We've offered an ongoing salary increase. We've offered one-time stipends. We've offered a signing bonus so that we could recruit more teachers and more employees into our district as well. And in return, they would get a signing bonus. We've offered our substitute teachers a higher daily rate. We've offered an extra uh, uh, stipend or, or hourly uh, overtime to our nurses. We're also offering three additional days of professional learning for our teachers. Uh, again, we believe that those proposals uh, um, take into consideration and cover uh, the vast majority of those recommendations and should serve as the framework to return our students back to their schools. Uh, are you guys heading back to the negotiating table today? I, I didn't see anything about that. Yeah, thank you for referencing that. We, um, we had yesterday evening, we invited our partners and reiterated our commitment to negotiate throughout the day with our negotiations team. Uh, we have not heard, again, it's 4.15. Uh, some of these negotiations have gone past, way past uh, this hour. So we're hopeful and stand ready to start and resume negotiations. If they weren't to happen today, our hope is that they will resume tomorrow with our negotiations team. Again, that will be something that we will communicate to our communities uh, in the spirit of transparency and openness, uh, because I know that everyone is deeply concerned. And I'll leave it up to you for this last one. Uh, any last, uh, speaking to families, any last things you want to say to families who are kind of on the, uh, the fringe for this? Well, the first thing that I'll say is, again, I recognize how difficult this is. Um, I'm both disheartened, frustrated as well, uh, and disappointed. Um, I um, hope that we can return all of our students. I know that my three children want to go back to their schools as well. Um, my daughter missed a soccer game today. I know how critical it is for all of our students. We have field trips, we have extracurricular activities, um, but they are missing so much. Uh, they're missing uh, their teachers. Uh, they're missing their custodial staff. They're missing their office managers. They're missing their counselors. They're missing their social workers. They're missing their principals. Uh, we have to remain committed and united in making sure that our students can come back to school, and that's my greatest hope.